prophesying right from the beginning. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to make declaration to the nations of the earth. Now hear me out. The Spirit of God says, Putin, I speak to you now. King Putin, you call yourself. Do you really believe that I raised up a king in the 80s by the name of Ronald Reagan to pull down a curtain and to destroy a wall that divided for nothing? Come on. Did you really think I did that in vain for you to stand and raise a wall and a curtain again? No, no. Putin, get out of my way. Get out of my way, says the Lord. As I harden the heart of Pharaoh for the benefit of my people, so have I hardened your heart. I'm hearing a sound in my spirit. Here we go. For the benefit of my people, Ecclesia, my church, my holy ones, my elect, and my land of Israel, I have hardened your heart, Mr. Putin. You see, I said I will lift my hand off Russia, off Russia for a season, and I did, and look what is happening. You are unbridled, King Putin. You are unbridled now. But I want you to know what I historically did to kings who took power and abused them. Ultimately, there will be freedom for the sake of my people. Oh, troublemaker, who would stand and terrorize the world? My world, says the Lord. Therefore, I'll put my hook in your nose and my bridle in your lips and I will turn your back by the way you came and those who have survived and escaped will bear much fruit. Much fruit, says the Lord. That fruit shall be in Ukraine. That fruit shall be in the nations that you have encroached upon to take for your glory. I will cause a remnant to be raised up and bear much fruit for my kingdom, says the Lord. Now hear me as I speak to this man who has raised himself up and to the men who have said to the end of Israel and to the end of the Christians, do you really believe after thousands of years that you can remove from this earth my people and my spirit for as long as my spirit is upon the earth my people shall reign says the lord come on say it with me israel is forever israel is forever 